Brace yourselves for a chilling revelation from the world of science. NASA, the renowned space agency, has issued an alarming warning that has sent shockwaves through the global community. Their cutting-edge Guardian system, designed to detect the most devastating natural phenomena, has peak a tip on a terra fishing anomaly. The data suggests that the Earth may soon pass the deadliest tsunami in recorded history, a catastrophic event that could reshape the coastline and claim countless levers. As the world holds its breath, the question on everyone's minds is, are we prepared for the worst? The science behind tsunamis. Tsunamis, often mistakenly referred to as tidal waves, are one of the most destructive natural phenomena on Earth. These massive waves are typically generated by sudden, violent underwater disturbances such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or submarine landslides. When these events occur, they displace enormous volumes of water, creating a series of waves that can travel across entire ocean basins at incredible speeds. The science behind tsunamis is complex, involving our interplay of geophysical forces and fluid dynamics. When an underwater earthquake occurs, it causes the seafloor to abruptly shift, displacing the water above it. This displacement creates a series of waves that radiate outward from the epicenter, similar to the ripples that form when a stone is dropped into a pond. However, unlike wind-generated waves which only affect the ocean surface, tsunami waves involve the movement of water from the surface all the way down to the seafloor. As tsunami waves propagate through the deep ocean, they can travel at astonishing speeds, often exceeding 500 miles per hour. Despite these high speeds, tsunami waves in the open ocean are barely noticeable, with wave heights often less than a few feet. This is because the wave's energy is distributed throughout the entire water column, from the surface to the seafloor. However, as tsunami waves approach shallower coastal waters, they begin to slow down and grow in height. This is due to the fact that the wave's energy is compressed into a smaller volume of water, causing the wave to become taller and more powerful. In some cases, tsunami waves can reach heights of over 100 feet, with the potential to cause catastrophic damage to coastal communities. The destructive power of a tsunami is determined by several factors, including the wave's height, speed, and the coastal topography of the affected area. Low-lying coastal areas such as beaches and estuaries are particularly vulnerable to tsunami damage, as the waves can easily inundate these areas and sweep away everything in their path. Additionally, the shape of the coastline can also influence the impact of a tsunami, with bays and inlets potentially potentially amplifying the wave's height and destructive force. NASA's Guardian System and the Impending Threat NASA's Guardian GNSS Upper Atmospheric Real-Time Disaster Information and Alert Network is an innovative system designed to detect and provide early warnings for tsunamis using data from Global Navigational Satellite Systems GNSS. This cutting-edge technology has the potential to revolutionize tsunami detection and significantly improve the accuracy and timeliness of warnings, ultimately saving countless lives in coastal communities around the world. The Guardian system works by analyzing radio signals from clusters of GPS and other wayfinding satellites orbiting Earth. And these signals travel to hundreds of scientific ground stations worldwide, and the data is processed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Global Differential GPS GDGPS network. The system then sifts through the signals looking for subtle disturbances in the ionosphere that could indicate the presence of a tsunami. When a tsunami occurs, it displaces a massive amount of air above the ocean surface, creating low-frequency sound and gravity waves that ripple out in all directions. Within minutes, these waves reach the ionosphere, the uppermost layer of the atmosphere where they interact with charged particles and cause slight distortions in the signals from nearby navigational satellites. Guardian is designed to detect these disturbances and interpret them as signs of a potential tsunami. One of the most significant advantages of the Guardian system is its speed. It can produce a snapshot of a tsunami's impact on the ionosphere within just 10 minutes, making it one of the fastest tsunami monitoring tools available. This rapid detection capability could provide up to an hour of advanced warning depending on the distance between the tsunami's origin and the shoreline. However, the Guardian team at NASA has recently issued a chilling warning about a potentially catastrophic tsunami that could surpass all others in terms of devastation. Based on data from the Guardian system, scientists have detected signs of a massive underwater disturbance that could generate a tsunami of unprecedented size and power. The exact location and timing of this potential mega tsunami remain uncertain, as predicting such events with precision is extremely challenging. Nonetheless, the Guardian team is working tirelessly to refine their data and provide more accurate information to help coastal communities prepare for the worst. As the world braces for this impending threat, the importance of early warning systems like Guardian becomes more evident than ever. By continuing to develop and improve this technology, NASA and other organizations can help ensure that coastal populations have the maximum possible time to evacuate and seek safety in the face of a potentially catastrophic tsunami. Learning from History, The Worst Tsunamis on Record 
Throughout history, tsunamis have proven to be some of the most devastating natural disasters, claiming countless lives and causing immense destruction in coastal communities worldwide. By examining some of the worst tsunamis on record, we can better understand the factors that contributed to their destructive power and the importance of early warning systems and disaster preparedness. One of the deadliest tsunamis in recent history occurred on December 26, 2004, in the Indian Ocean. An enormous underwater earthquake with a magnitude of 9.1 triggered a series of massive waves that struck the coasts of 14 countries, including Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, and Thailand. The waves, some reaching heights of over 100 feet, swept away entire villages, destroyed infrastructure, and claimed the lives of an estimated 227,000 people. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami highlighted the lack of an effective early warning system in the region and prompted international efforts to improve tsunami detection and preparedness. Another notorious tsunami occurred on August 27, 1883, following the explosive eruption of the Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia. The collapse of the volcano's caldera generated a series of tsunamis that reached heights of up to 130 feet, devastating coastal communities in the nearby islands of Java and Sumatra. The waves also traveled across the Indian Ocean, causing damage and fatalities as far away as South Africa and Australia. The Krakatoa tsunami claimed the lives of over 36,000 people and served as a grim reminder of the far-reaching impact of these disasters. Years later, on March 11, 2011, a powerful magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck off the coast of Tohoku, Japan, generating a massive tsunami that reached heights of up to 130 feet. The waves inundated the Japanese coastline, causing widespread destruction and triggering a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The Tohoku tsunami claimed the lives of over 15,000 people, displaced hundreds of thousands more, and caused an estimated $235 billion in damage, making it one of the costliest natural disasters in history. More recently, on January 1, 2024, Japan faced a series of strong earthquakes, prompting the Japan Meteorological Agency to issue its highest level tsunami alert. The largest quake, with a magnitude of 7.6, caused significant damage on the west coast of Honshu, including fires, collapsed buildings, and disrupted transportation. Initially, the agency warned of potential waves reaching up to 5 meters, later downgrading the warning but emphasizing the importance of immediate evacuation. The quakes left at least six homes damaged, 30,000 households without electricity, and some minor injuries reported. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida established an emergency center to ensure residents' safety. While nuclear plants reported no irregularities. These devastating tsunamis share several common factors that contributed to their destructive power. In each case, the initial underwater disturbance, whether an earthquake or volcanic eruption, displaced an enormous volume of water, creating waves of exceptional height and speed. The low-lying topography of the affected coastal areas also played a significant role, allowing the waves to penetrate far inland and cause widespread flooding and damage. Preparing for the worst, what can be done? In light of the impending tsunami threat warned by NASA scientists, it is crucial to evaluate our current state of preparedness and explore the measures that can be taken to minimize the potential devastation. Preparing for the worst requires a multifaceted approach involving technological advancements, public awareness, and international cooperation. One of the key components in mitigating the impact of tsunamis is the development and improvement of early warning systems. Presently, tsunami detection relies primarily on seismometers, buoys, and tide gauges, which, while while effective, have limitations in terms of coverage and response time. NASA's Guardian system, which utilizes GPS signals to detect ionospheric disturbances caused by tsunamis, has the potential to revolutionize early warning capabilities. By integrating this technology with existing systems, we can significantly enhance the accuracy and timeliness of tsunami alerts, providing coastal communities with precious extra minutes to evacuate and seek safety. However, even the most advanced early warning systems are only effective if the public is well-informed and prepared to act upon the alerts. Education and awareness campaigns are essential in ensuring that coastal populations understand the risks associated with tsunamis and know how to respond in the event of an emergency. Regular tsunami drills, clear evacuation routes, and well-equipped shelter facilities are critical components of a comprehensive disaster preparedness plan. Local governments, in collaboration with national and international agencies, must prioritize the development and implementation of these plans to safeguard their communities. As we brace for the possibility of the deadliest tsunami in history, it is crucial that we learn from past events and take proactive steps to enhance our preparedness. By investing in advanced early warning systems like Guardian, promoting public awareness and education, 
fostering international cooperation, and building resilient communities, we can significantly reduce the devastating impact of tsunamis. While we may never be able to fully eliminate the risk posed by these formidable natural phenomena, we can work together to create a world that is better equipped to face and overcome the challenges they present. It's time to hear from you. Have you or someone you know ever experienced a tsunami or other natural disaster? How did it affect you personally? Let us know in the comments below.